I have never played on Thanksgiving before. As a kid, this is one of those dreams to play on Thanksgiving where the whole fam is watching and you go outside after Thanksgiving dinner and you throw the ball around and you, you, you play football on Thanksgiving. So this is just one of those experiences that I hold close to my heart, man. I'm, I'm super excited to play on Thanksgiving in front of the world. They got Vaughn Miller shaking up. He's got Sean McDermott's attention. Vaughn Miller's just come out of the blue tent. He was walking around after getting help off the field. They're yeah. taking him in by a card. Wow, that Vaughn is. Miller. And this guy has been every bit as dominant this year as he's been throughout his career. That's a major loss. Ooh. If Vaughn Miller's not able to go. Nate, uh, Nate the, the head trainer for the Bills, he came. Hello. Oh, okay. So, what about what y'all doing? Now, we about to get something to eat. Probably be over here, like on Wednesday and Thursday. Tell me what what you're feeling when just walking around as you straighten your neck. Do you feel any popping or shifting in your knee? No, I mean sometimes like, like when I just walked in the room, it just it kind of like like give a little bit. Um, but as, as far as just it, I don't want to say unstable. It just feels uneasy. Okay. even going to try to pivot him. I mean, he's got a positive lineman. That's a pretty good lineman. Why don't you sit up? Um, you know, I think that Vaughn's, um, understandably, it's a little overwhelming, you know? The problem that I now see is this. If you go in scope, fix the meniscus, trim the cartilage, you're going to put him back to where he was before he got hurt, roughly, at the same risk of Gaining hurt again because the ACL is not where it needs to be. But once the ACL is fixed, he'll go back to being old on. Appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. Appreciate you. Guys. Yeah. Okay. I think when you say the desire, the desire thing, it always throw me off because, bro, I want to play in every fucking game. You right. know, like, I mean, that's that's just naturally going to be there because that's just who I am. That's how I got. That's how I got here. Like my desire, like. I can't. My desire, bro. I don't want to. Like, I don't want to miss a lot of time. Like, that's another thing too. I don't want to be one of those guys that. I don't want to be one of those guys that take forever to get back. And then, yeah. you know, if they say eight months, nine months, then I expect it to be like nine months, if not sooner. That's just how I train. It's just how right. I work. You know, I. I and you're not afraid to get back on it. You've already done that before. I put my. I put my all. All my research going to. How can I come back faster? How can I do this? How can I do that? What is the best way to go around it? So, and then from a mental standpoint too, like, I'm always thinking positive. When the time, when the time comes, and you get surgery in like the end of January or like February, like we already deep into you know the season. I got to some sleep right now. <laughs> Bro, 
bro, ain't this shit crazy, man? It's just a small ass world, bro. Uh, that's alright. Good. Yeah, I'm good. Man. Man, Doc. <laughs> Well, we've been here in Dallas, we've heard Dr. Cooper today, and I think, uh, you know, the plan that we got to just let Dr. Cooper get in there and check it out, you know, if he, uh, if he checks out my knee and, it's, and he feels okay with me, you know, playing off the of scope, then we just scope it and let it ride. If he gets in there and he looks at it and, and he doesn't feel, you know, comfortable with me playing with that, then, you know, we just do the surgery and we let that ride, so. <coughs> Either way it go, man, I'm at peace. I think. You know, internally, you know, I'm, you know, I want to do as much as I can to like play and be there for my teammates. At the same time, I want to, you know, be smart for for me too. So this is right down the middle. Um, I'm at peace with, you know, whatever Dr. Cooper, you know, decides. I, I you know, I went to Dr. Cooper. And I, I picked him for you know a reason. He respected him with my colleagues, and you know, he's here in Dallas. I'm gonna be here in Dallas this off season. So. Everything's happened. We, we, everything's good. We're taking it all the way down to the final hour. Yeah. It's good. When was the last time you ate? Last night. What time? 9.30. 9.30, okay. We are doing your right knee. That's the injured knee. This is possibly the harvest knee. So I put my initials on both. This would be graft. But my plan to, is to go in and when you're asleep and totally relaxed, examine it before we even do any prep it out, okay? And I just want to see how loose it is. And then I think I'm going to scope your knee and look at the graft and look at your cartilage surface and get that meniscus unflipped and then examine you again. Because sometimes when you get the meniscus out, unflipped and out of there, the, in, the instability actually feels more. It can dampen it when it's kind of stuck like that. Yeah, let me, I'm a, uh, so, let me try to tell you. Yep. Yep. Hey, I'm here with uh, Dr. Cooper. What we're going to do is... We gonna, what we're doing is we're going in, we're going to examine him with him asleep, okay? And then I'm going to look in his right knee, we're going to scope him, and we're going to get the meniscus fragment unflipped, you know, and out back out of there. And look at his graft, look at his cartilage, you know, and, and really make the decision based on both the examination under anesthesia while he's asleep and also looking right at it. And then we're going to do what's right. If his knee is clearly unstable in the graft, and his knee really buckles, then we're going to fix it. Okay. I think the bottom line is we're just going to take the approach of we're going to do what's right and do what's best for him. I think that's a good move. Okay. How, long, how long is the procedure? Just as long as it takes to get it right. <laughs> when will I uh, be able to play golf after this? Let's, let's, let me get your knee fixed. <laughs> I'm not making any tea times just yet. You'll know when you wake up. You'll know if your left knee hurts a little bit. Then you know we did. It. You said the left knee hurt. Yeah. I mean, if you have any, uh, you know, I mean, if I operate on that knee, that means we redid your ACL. Yeah. yeah. Said, you'll know, and I'll come by and visit with you. They said it hurt more. It hurt no. The left side. Will I be able to walk? Here, yep. Or? You'll be able to walk, but you'll need crutches. Let's get a definitive plan after we know exactly what we did. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. I'll get excited for football games. It's crazy because two weeks ago, two weeks ago you're sitting, you're getting ready for football practice, and you just man, everything is good. You got eight sacks, top for third in the league. You know, Vonkas is doing good. Son's healthy. Everything good. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Not playing football no more. No, no. When you gonna play football again? No, I know I don't play football again, you just don't know when. Take care of him, Nate. How you feeling? How
Just move around my Did he tell you any good jokes or anything? Or? He didn't. He just wants chicken express. It's on its way. And some tequila on the rocks. <laughs> Nate, what it, so what does it look like? I don't know what it looks like, but... Nate? Nate? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, Dr. But, Cooper uh, came by. My ACL, it was... It wasn't, it wasn't good enough. ACL. It wasn't good enough to... No, we had to do the surgery to fix it. Right. Was it, it was it was just a few strings. Or? Yeah. I couldn't bring you back out there and let you play like that. This it was the right thing to do. Did he tested it. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, he did a really good uh, a good job to it. Yeah, you injured it pretty bad. So I'm glad we you know did what you did and got in there. The right thing happened. What needed to happen. And uh, Bond in 23 is going to be. Uh, Super nice. Yeah, you're gonna be better. You're gonna be better than you were this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it. Mr. Miller, my name is Ray. I'm gonna be the nurse taking care of you while you're here with us. All right. As soon as you start feeling some pain, man, you let me know, and we'll get on top of that. You're a Yankees fan. Yes, sir, I am. <laughs> <laughs> your surgery went great. We absolutely did the right thing. So I'm gonna let you put all your weight on. It. We're going to let you use crutches and we're going to just let you kind of amble along and walk this off. And cool. within two weeks, you're going to be walking without crutches. I do it. Good. Cool. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you tonight. Doc. All right, thank you. This is my life. I don't have anything to do but play football, rehab really have this thing. You know? And I'm looking forward to getting around the guys and, and doing just that. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it, man. Like, you know, I've always said that, you know, your mental is a huge part of it. You know, it's, it's, it's way more than 50%, you know, as a man thinking uh, he is, and, you know, I'm, I, am, I am in a great spot, and I'm gonna do everything that I can do to contribute to this team, for sure. Well, you can maybe get a third championship. We're gonna do that. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna do that for sure, man. And I'm, I'm in a great spot. I was in a great spot before this year had a man, and I'm, I can't wait to get up and get around the guys, man, so I can be around football and talk football, man. It's going to be great. I'm, I am good.